so let's get started. Um, first things first. So we're gonna do React. So I want to work with the logo React. Yeah, that crap. So first thing to do is uh, import React and import React DOM. So this is a view, basically a view. So React and React DOM are the libraries. So we're gonna get React and we're gonna get React DOM right here. And there's also router, but I'm not using those. So what does these look like? So the import basically does this. It goes, da, 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 da. this is the library. Seems pretty small. And this is the React DOM library. It should be a lot bigger. Da, 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 da. And that's the DOM minified. Da, 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 da. Okay, that's done. Um, okay. And next thing we're going to do div ID, which is root. Boom. That's done. Next thing is we're going to create. Uh, render it's going to be I can't do that it's so function app okay we got it so we're gonna write it this way function app Render. What's the return? Turn, and everything goes into JSX land, which is in the middle right here. Um, there should be a semicolon, and we go to also React DOM dot render. Um, we call the app. And we're in document get element by ID. Why is it broken? Where is it broken? Where is it broken? Then, so it's gonna be root. It's gonna grab this ID right here, root. And we're gonna create h1 and go hello. Ask for me how. Everyone likes using Mandarin for some odd reason because of coders. And did not render. Should work. Function. Oh, I spelled DOM incorrectly. That's how it's going to work. DOM. There. All right. Okay. So um, let's create a, a time clock. This tutorial is about a clock, and let's create that. So all right. Let's create, let's create the function. So it's in. So we gotta do const date equals two. New date, we got a new up because a new instance. All right, cool. What's that ball doing? What? Oh, it has some type highlight. Oh, wait, that's not something in the not there. Sorry, should be that's how I have a mistake right there. Boom. So, touch none of the JSX land. This is JXX land, don't touch that. Writing our script. So this is encapsulated in an object under this function thing. I prefer writing function because I'm an old school JavaScript writer. Before ES6, all the syntactic sugar that makes it look all cool. So um so yeah, this stuff. Babel. With that. Okay, so next we're going to const 
hours equals eight dot get hours. You can get that from the MDN from Mozilla on the date API that's built in. Next, we're gonna get const right now. Here goes some date to local time string. So we're gonna do that. So this is the JSX way of putting variables into the JavaScript. So within these query braces, you can put variables. So let's put right now. And that's right now time. So what if you want the right now time to keep on checking time. Um, let's create a function called set interval. Well set interval does um, it takes every how long you want it to tick. So let's create a set interval tick. Call a function cause function function tick. And we're gonna wrap this around this. Then we're going to set interval to tick every second. A thousand is one second. And yeah, there we go. We got our digital clock. And that's our React clock. No, I'm just kidding, guys. Um, let's extend this guy. Um, let's make it say good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Let's automate that because I hate saying that because a robot can do it. So this will be your first bot that will say good morning to you that you have for yourself. And it'll tell you what time it is. We need to open up this view app. So let's do that time of day. So this variable is defined. And next we're gonna create our algorithm. So hours is 12 this will be time of day equals to good morning that's cool and next we'll do an else if time that'll be hours less than or equal to 12 and end hours 17. So if it's between that, it'll be good afternoon, time of day equals to good afternoon. Okay. And else, I'll say time of day. Good night. Or we always just call it good night world. It's a very emo worry of um let's make it good night world to make it very emo. Um let's change to h2 h2 and then we gotta create div tags because um it's components and they have to be one component, it's like one component. So it's like it can be grandfather, so it'd be a function within a function within a function. So it's a giant object and how objects work. So this is a function. Uh, this is a function. And the object has um, func1, func2. It has properties, you know, properties like it's a green, it's red, it's purple, and then it's wrapped in a giant function. But this is not object oriented tutorial this is how to make a simple clock all right and next uh, we're going to h1 h2 and then we're gonna do the wrapper theme and we're gonna do time of day i just automated it come on time of day oh no it's not working I should say good night Oh, I didn't. Well, oh, 
ました Oh wait, spell time of day here though. The variable. Control V, oops. Control C, Control V, Control V. Thank you, syntax highlighting. Save my day. Welcome to Shorty. Work. Come on. It broke. Or did it break? Let's see. Oh, the sun is out. There's a thing, there's a thing. Line nine. Oh, oh, I see the error. Should do this. There you go. Good night. I'll say good night. Um, what if I wanted to put a different type of string? You got the end, but then like, oh, my love or something. Now. Let's say good night, my love. So you'll have your your bot that greets you in the morning and night every single day, and this is your little simple algorithm. Uh, let's make this a bit tougher. Let's um. Okay, so imagine if we didn't make it all proper case, like all lowercase, like um. Let's make it an algorithm challenge. So let's call this morning. Morning. Let's call this afternoon. Let's call this night. All lowercase. But we want this proper case. So proper case. We want this like night. Like proper case. That'd be a little tough. So let's create an algorithm. Um, we're going to first split. So we'll make this array. It's on a split, and then this will make it an array. Boom! It's, a, it's an array now. And then we're going to map it. We're just gonna mutate everything. Mutate. Why am I missing thing? Because I'm to uppercase. Passing the first to your case, and we're going to join join hmm. oh, not broke. Split, spin, split. Not mint. Probably did break it because it doesn't look right. I just broke it. Hmm. Let's split it. Let's just algorithm a bit. Let's just run nine. Then map the function and then run.
where's my error? My 19. Oh, it's one more. There we go. Boom. And this parenthesis is always driving me mad, so it should be all wrapped in here. Okay. All right, let's break this down, the algorithm. All right. First thing first, we're going to find the algorithm. It's an array. So we'll call it blah, and then we're going to split it. We're going to get that. We'll call it log blah. It's going to be split up we're gonna split the string so we're gonna get the first one as b alone right here with this algorithm so map changes the entire array into upper place with the first letter and then we're going to create another letter a4 a.2, we're going to map it again for a substring and then create the rest of the string, blah, to lowercase, the rest of the string. Because the entire string starting at the first place, which is B, will be B L A H, uppercase. But we're grabbing the first letter of A2, which is blah so that'll be the first the first string so I split this entire thing so for example I can change this to the second placement it'll be L capital L and then the first placement is zero because you always count array as a zero so basically it explodes or implodes it and then it's gonna be B L A H all cap letters all right, so next we map it. We're gonna convert the rest of the letters to substring starting at one. So it'll be L A H and then to be lowercase. And then we join it back together as in blah. But so that's how we got this algorithm. So I can put good night, sir. And then it'll be a proper case. Good night, sir. So that's my algorithm challenge. And sorry for all the mistakes. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. Till next time, guys. And uh, keep on hacking. Peace.